Welcome back to another episode of The Vault. I'm your host, Bro Gilbert. And on this episode, we explore an underground magician you've never heard of before, Shin Lim. All right, we all know who he is. He's actually uh, an amazing ambassador for the art of magic, the art of close-up magic. We all know him for his huge, theatrical, dramatic, uh, chiseled jawline, handsome kind of close-up magic that he does. Um, and we've seen it on television. Uh, he's blown up the internet with it. Uh, he's, he's a champion and he's awesome. But beyond that, when I was digging through the vault, I started looking at some of the other things he's created. And when Shin Lim is just hanging out, he actually does very cool, direct, conversational close-up magic, the stuff that I love. And that's why I picked this effect. We all know with spelling effects that sometimes they can be a little bit long-winded, even boring sometimes. Uh, but Shin's take on this is so direct and so clean and so straight to the point uh, that I had to include it in the vault. It is done with a borrowed deck. That means it can be a borrowed shuffle deck and they pick out any card, they put it back anywhere they want in the deck and they spell down to the selection and there it is, their card. So it's very, uh, it's very direct. There's a little bit of sleight of hand that you're gonna have to man up or woman up uh, to learn, but you can do it. It's not that difficult um, and it's just a great anytime Anywhere, a spelling trick. So this is it. This is Spell by Shin Lim. What I want you to do is just go ahead and look through the pack and find any card you like. Don't let me see though, okay? So pick out any card. And if you want to shuffle the deck of cards, you can. If you can't, that's fine. So just go ahead and find any card. And they're not in any specific order, right? They're all different, they're all mixed. So just go ahead and find any card you want and slide it out and place it right on the table. Make sure I cannot see. Just go ahead and show the camera that card. Alright, perfect. Now, what I want you to do is just go and take that card and place it right in the center, anywhere you want. Perfect, right over there. Okay, can you see the card? Push it in, all the way. Take the deck. Alright, perfect. So you know what your card is, right? Yeah. And everyone at home also knows. For the first time ever, just say out loud, what was your card? Um, Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds? Yeah. Now, what happened was, I handed you the deck. Uh, it was in a completely different order. I mean, it was in random order. You picked out any card you wanted to. You pushed it in the deck, and that way I have no control of the card whatsoever, right? Okay, what I want you to do is just go ahead and spell Ace of Diamonds. But as you spell Ace of Diamonds, deal the cards face up. So, yeah, go ahead. Face up. A, C, E. O F D I A M O N E S. And because you spelled the ace of diamonds, it lands right. 